I believe that uh, our group is made up of WordPress developers or web developers. We have people who just use WordPress to run their blogs. We have those who use WordPress to run their business sites. So we are a group. It is a group made up of different people who have different skills when it comes to to using WordPress, maybe building uh, websites or just using it. The tools or the plugins that I'm going to talk about are plugins that I believe, even if you are not a developer, even if you're just someone who uses WordPress for, I mean, just to run a, a normal blog, then you should be having them. Um, that's why we are calling them the must have WordPress plugins. These are plugins that I believe that if you have them, they'll make your work easier as someone who is running a WordPress website. Plugins are just but tools that will help you enhance the functionality of your website uh, without really having to code anything. So you don't need to know how to code for you to be able to achieve some functionalities within your within your WordPress website. For example, if you wanted to add a contact form, you don't have to code that. You just need to use a plugin to be able to add that feature into your WordPress website. And there are over 50,000 WordPress plugins already within the WordPress plugin repository. There are other developers who haven't listed their, their plugins in the WordPress repo, but the ones that are in the WordPress plugin repo are over 50,000 plugins. And with that said, how do you know that this is the plugin that I need to be using in my WordPress website? For the master of WordPress plugins, I have listed some here. Actually, I believe that with these ones here, you'll be in a position to run your WordPress website smoothly. Number one is the admin and site enhancement. We have the manage WP. Solid security, which formerly it was items security, classic editor. That is, if you want to make your uh, to have the, uh, the 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 old editing or the the old editor experience, you can you can use the classic editor. And then we have the rank math. Then we have light speed cache or any other speed cache that you can website cache that you can you can use. So I'm going to talk about them one by one. Uh, starting with the uh, admin and site enhancement plugin. Now, this plugin here, it's more of, it's it's actually new and it helps you customize your, your, your website in whichever way you want. For example, when it, when it comes to login and logout, you can change the login URL. Uh, you hear that if you want to at least you know, make your website secure, you need to change the default login URL, which is usually the wp-login.php or wp-admin. If you want to change that without using an extra plugin to help you achieve that, you can use the admin and site enhancement. This plugin has lots and lots of features. It's new, but it has lots and lots of features. It's something that I, I tried it and I saw that it you can use or you can do lots of things from here moving forward we have the manage wp so manage wp basically helps you manage a number of websites within one dashboard so you can like have you can be like managing let's say 10 websites without having to you know log into each and every website all of all the time you can be managing them from within one dashboard the only thing that you need to do is have an account with Manage WP and then connect your website to the Manage WP dashboard. And then you will be able to run almost everything from within the Manage WP dashboard. Some of the things that you can be able to do is back up your website with the free option of the free version of the Manage WP. You will be able to back up your website at least once per month. But if you go for the premium version, or if you want to pay for premium backups, you can like back up on a daily basis or twice or three times uh, per day, depending on how you want to, you know, take your backups. You can run updates, the bulk updates, the plugins, the themes, the WordPress core, everything you can run from within the dashboard. If it's something that you like, you have, let's say 10 or 12 or 20 websites that you, you're managing, 
you can like set aside let's say every tuesday you run plugin updates or theme updates or all the updates the next plugin that i want to talk about is uh, the solid security this plugin helps secure your website or at least reduce uh, the risk to something nearly zero that is what they say that is what they promise they promise that they will reduce your wordpress website risk to nearly zero i know we have preferences in or we have preferences when it comes to the plugins that we use if you are a fan of wordfence use wordfence but for me i believe that with the wordpress security plugins you don't have to pay for the plugin you don't have to buy the pro version of the plugin the wordpress security i believe that uh, the the hosting should be able to cover like 90% of the security of the website security the rest you need to be doing like you know updating your your plugins the theme and the core files and making sure that you are always running your website on an SSL uh, active SSL SSL certificate so with that you don't need to buy a pro version but if you want you can always buy the premium version of the security plugin number 4 is the classic editor um if you are someone who builds websites for clients and you want them or you don't want them to be like you know running into problems with how to use the gutenberg or or, or the other editors then i think the classic editor should be the easiest of, of them to use so classic editor is one of those plugins that i think you should be having installed in your wordpress website number 5 have the title here lightspeed cache but like i said we have preferences for the lightspeed cache i think that if you have or your host is supporting the lightspeed cache or it's one of those hosts that part of the developers of the lightspeed cache then you should use the lightspeed cache other than that there are web hosts that they come with their own you know cache 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 plugins first get to know the technology behind the hosting that you're using and then get now you can you can you can settle on the cache plugin that you're going to use and when you're using the cache plugin you need to be very careful when it comes to doing the settings so you need to know how to use uh, these cache plugins uh, in order to be able to achieve the speed that you want with your with your with your website next is for the SEO for the SEO uh, we have lots of the SEO plugins out there the top 3 i think is Yoast Rank Math all in one SEO and then there are there are other other SEO SEO plugins the reason as to why i think rank math seo is a perfect choice is because with rank math seo free version you will be able to like get most of the features that you only need to pay for if you were to choose uh your state seo but all of them all of them are a perfect plugins so rank math seo is one of those plugins that i think you should be having installed in your wordpress website for you to be able to uh, make your seo or optimize your content on your website for seo so some of the tips of using wordpress web, uh, i mean plugins i had come up with around 7 of them number 1 is you need to keep your plugins updated this is no brainer like if there is a new update then it means that that new update is is supposed to be solving some issue maybe it's a security issue or maybe it's adding a new feature now if you don't update your plugin there is a possibility that the previous version or the version that you're currently having had some security issues and the longer you stay with your plugin not updated the easier you make it for the hackers out there to hack into your website number 2 you need to limit the uh, the deactivated plugins within your website if you have like a plugin that you're no longer using and you have de you have deactivated it 
it's better if you delete it altogether just remove it altogether number 3 get your plugins from trusted sources if it's a plugin let's say you 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 want to use uh monarch monarch is one of the elegant themes plugins for uh the social media i mean the social icons you can use it to display the social follow icons or the social sharing buttons but it's not available in the wordpress repo the best source to get that plugin is from the elegant themes website so it means you need to sign up and get the plugin from there don't get the plugin from other sites that will tell you that you're going to get this for free it's a premium and then you do that don't do that get from the trusted sources the, tr- the trusted sources here include the wordpress repo wordpress plugin repository which is uh, on wordpress.org forward slash plugins and the second trusted source is from the developers website fewer is better this is uh, something that i think most developers run into or most wordpress users run into you just want like there is a, a new feature that or there is a feature that you want within your website the first thing that you're going to do is install if it is something that you can be able to achieve with let's say code and you're a developer achieve it with the code just find a way of adding that code into your into your into your into your website either through uh code snippets or you can like use the uh, a child theme to be able to inject that code into the functions.php uh, within the the child theme and then um avoid conflicting or duplicate plugins this is where someone be, you know we have people who believe that if you are like using a uh, two cache plugins then there's a possibility that you're going to make your web- website even more faster or if you're using two seo plugins you're going to make your website more seo optimized that's not the case use one plugin for uh the each feature for example if you're using if you want one for seo stick with rank math or yoast or all in one seo don't have two plugins that are going to be you know confl- conflicting at the end of the day and six install only quality pl- uh, plugins quality in this case i believe is before you install a plugin check on the reviews check on how the developer supports the plugin and check on you know the support the support forum for this this plugin see how this developer interacts with uh, the plugin users see how the, he handles or the developer handles the issues that come up with the plugin and see if the plugin supports um uh, the, the 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 current technologies the, the, the php if, if, does it support the php 8.2 or, or does it support the current version of wordpress we are in wordpress 6.5 does the what uh, i mean does that plugin support the current version of wordpress so those are some of the things that you need to be able to check before you install your your plugin and then lastly free versus premium should you use the free plugin or the premium version of the plugin that's now up to you i i i believe that most of the plugins that have been have been added to the wordpress plugin repo the free versions are just enough and you can be able to achieve most of the things with just the free version of the plugin you don't need to you don't need to add or buy the premium version but if you need to buy then you can always buy the premium version but the free that's it uh, that's the end of the presentation